Hello everyone again, welcome to Fusion Tips. In this video we're going to go over drafts in our Modify tab. Now what is a draft? Typically you would use a draft on a solid body such as, let's say you were to use one of those quick click 3D shapes such as a cube. What you could do with your draft once you have it selected is you can see it highlights uh, a face. So you can choose whatever face you want to use. So we'll go ahead and click on this one here and it creates an arrow here. So when it brings up our dialog box, it brings up the type. This is a very basic draft tool you're going to use. So then you're going to select another face that you want to use here. So basically what this does is once you have two or you can even do more selected. You can use this wheel or you could use the uh, angle dialog box to specify what you want. You can then put an angle in it and you can rotate uh, a certain face around this uh, edge here that you have. You can uh, scale it to however you want. You can hit this uh, arrow here and it'll flip to the same value but opposite. Now, if you want to do the opposite direction, you would highlight this one first and then click that one. As you can see, you can modify it however you wish. You can also, like I said, add more than one uh, face. And we have three sides here, so if you were to angle it, it will bring it in. As you can see, it will angle uh, this face and it will angle this face but however the ones you do not select it will shrink and go with the angle however it will not uh, be angled like this one it is straight same thing with the bottom and yeah so you can use this on many different many different ways you can also go to a parting line now what a parting line would do is typically if you want to uh, split this up and you want to angle things at a midpoint or whatever. For this example we will go up to our construct tab and go to our midplane. Now we haven't talked about planes a whole lot but for this we're going to choose midplane. We're going to click on this side, we're going to go over to this side and basically what this does is it creates a path perfectly in the center between this face and this face here. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. So now we'll go back to our draft and we'll go to our type and we're going to go to a parting line. So now what we're going to do is we'll highlight this face here and that's going to want us to do a parting tool. So we're going to use this as our parting tool. Uh, you could probably use some other things but in this example we're just using a face and then a, a plane, excuse me, and then we're going to go to our face. So we're going to highlight this one here. Now as you can see, it has made a little hashed line here. So basically whenever you start to manipulate this, the point right here in which it is going to rotate around, as you can see, same thing applies here. So if you use this arrow, it will flip it the other direction. This is a fixed parting line so if you want to do a move parting line you can select this and now whenever you do it both sides will begin to uh, come in and you can also shape it up and out. You can do uh, direction, you can do both, angled, uh, a lot of these other ones I'm not even sure I've never even used before. Uh, you can do fixed edges, not sure exactly what that is. Like I said, I've never used it before, but it just takes some playing around to kind of get familiar with these tools. You can also use them on a draft on bodies such as a cylinder. So we'll go ahead and click it, we'll click on the face, then we'll click on this here. You can shape this however you want. If you want it to flare out or you want it to flare in, you could do that if it is the opposite side you would go to this one and then this one and then whenever you rotate it it will be the top portion now that does this and also whenever you do extrude something it always gives you the opportunity to uh, create a draft in there so if you go to your normal extrude of a sketch you can typically put an angle in it with a draft in there this is just a very basic introduction to drafts and how to use them hopefully this is helpful and kind of gives you an idea how to use them very helpful in our modify tab when you're doing the quick click 3d shapes and that ends this video thanks for watching guys Hopefully you stick around for the more uh, videos we're going to be putting out. And if these videos are helpful, I would appreciate if you like, share, comment, subscribe, you know, get engaged, and you know, hope to see you in the next video. And until next time, stay creative, guys.